All right, YouTube, we are here for round five. We are two and two. Looking to win out here. Five and two, and we can think of ourselves as, you know, better than that. I'm going to keep this hand. A little bit of everything. Lands to get us where we want to be. City of Traders into Chalice of the Void. Grim Monolith. Okay, that's better than Chalice of the Void. Okay. Jesus. All right. So Wasteland doesn't do anything. So let's just ponder. I don't think we're gonna get anything out of Spell Pierce either. All right, here's the real big brain thing. Do we just like say screw it, draw a true name, draw Stoneforge Mystic, go to town, and just hope my opponent doesn't have anything? The problem is I don't think the back to basics decks are bad matchups. want to play against that they can exile this like sure I'm gonna get a jet to put the jet onto the true name Like when I play against this deck, the only things that I don't want to play against are combo decks. All right, so they're just going to make another one of those. All right, I'm just going to... All right, well. I'm not going to block. I might block with my Stoneforge Mystic eventually, but I'm not going to right now. I do need to kill this Ugin, though. I'm going to play Equip, get this Ugin off the board, and then figure it out after that. And then chew through these. I don't know what we're going to do about these. Because they're just going to draw a million cards off of this. We're going to deal with two of them next turn. Alright, we're going to get rid of that. So no, I can waste that. Nice. All right, I'm going to just chump block. Snapcast room you could draw. All right, let's get rid of this. No, I don't want to. Let me give me something before damage. Do I just want to go Jace Bounce?
There go Jace bounce. They have to send a lot of them at. They have to send at least two of them at Jace. I'm not gonna do that. They're gonna bro. Alright, I'm not gonna give, gain any life. I'll take this. They draw two cards. Glimmer pose. Hopefully, it's just drew nothing but lands. Alright, chalice is fine. Okay, so I can actually just kind of hopefully deal with everything here. I'm just going to brainstorm. They can attack Jace, but like, whatever. I probably should have put a Snapcaster on top of my deck. This here, uh, Umuzawa's Jurgit is doing us, doing us good. Jace goes to one. All right, Scary Karn. Oh, I have to give him the creator. Yep. He's going to go get Ensnaring Bridge next turn. So I have to be able to attack in order to win, I think. Maybe I should have just sit there and brainstormed. I don't know. Because now they can just go get Bridge anyways. Yeah, this was dumb. Right, you got you must have a bridge outside of the game or a sorcerer's spyglass. Okay. And then they're gonna get Micasin's lattice. Unless I all I have to do I can't use my jet. Oh, okay. So I need to find a council's judgment. I don't know if he did. Oh, he did, yeah. And these are just dead because I can't ponder because of the chalice. Scoop it up. Yeah, that was quite the start for my opponent. That was tough. That was a tough start to overcome. I'm gonna get take these. I'm going to cut. I'm on the play, so Spell Pierce is decent. I still don't think my plows are very good. Like, they don't play the creatures. They play Ugin, but they don't play any other creatures.
I don't think they play like Thought Nuts here. Anyway. They probably play like Hangerback Walker. Not Hangerback Walker. Uh, Walking Blood stuff. We have answers to that. I don't think we need 21 lands. They're not going to attack our mana base. I'm going to go like this. This is also a removal spell. I don't know if this is correct or not. Because, like... Yeah, I don't know. We almost slogged through that with Jace and Jit. Oh no, I took the Jit out. I want the Jit. No, I don't think. I still don't think I want the Jit. Consider Stoy. What do you mean? Like while the Jit was decent there, I don't think it's gonna be good most of the time. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know if this is how I should be sideboarding or not. I haven't played against this deck too, too much. Not submitted yet. All right, I would like to play first. Yes. All right, I'm gonna keep this. We have a disenchant. I'm gonna play Tundra. I don't think they have. Um, I don't think that they have whatever it is. Um, Wasteland in their deck, and I want to spell Pierce. A turn one play without cracking a fetch. play this because I think I'm going to end up disenchant like disenchanting this turn and I don't want to break my fetch land unless I'm brainstorming all right blast zone for the opponent okay that's all right I'm going to disenchant it A nice draw. These are two really good draws. So let's put these back. Oh shit! I meant to click the Jace. No, now I don't make a land drop. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm I think I'm tired and I'm losing it. I've been going for about six hours now. So it might be a little, might be just going too long, which that sucks. Like now I can't even click. I'm going to let this go. I don't think they play Ulamog. God, it would be so nice to be able to slam a Jace right now. God, what a tilt. I thought I clicked my Jace. Ah. All right, take the turn off. Nice. 
All right, we're not punished, but like certainly better plays could have been made. I'm just gonna get two islands, I think. I'm just gonna brainstorm until the cows come home. We wanna win the game with Palace Jailer. Might hold up Vendillion Click. Oh wow, they're gonna pump this thing up. This blast zone is gonna blow up my Jace. the right play is it whether I should click my opponent or play I'm just gonna play another another Jace I think oh they have another blast zone well now I want to play um now I want to play whatever it is because it's gonna give me percentage points afterwards that's okay we're just gonna eat it with palace jailer Because they can kill Palace Jail and it still doesn't matter. The Monarch's combat damage. They're going to kill this, but whatever. I'm gonna fetch because it's a land. All right, fetch the land. Yeah, you can have all the mana you want. I'm just gonna go land go and then click them. Oh, this is cute. Can click lock. I can get my opponent if they try to kill it. I think we're good. Even though we like super tossed this game, I think we're still gonna win it. Going away. These decks, this these decks are just very good against these big mana decks, in my opinion. I could play Jace and go fishing for back to basics. Or I could just click myself, but I, I like all my cards, so I'm gonna find it eventually. And click is just pressure. Like they can they can blast zone it away, but I'm just gonna pick it up with Caracas. So I'm gonna grab some more coffee. We're out of coffee. Come on, opponent, what are you doing? Oh yeah, they're double queuing. This is so dumb. They're double queuing their popper thing. Cardboard live, yeah, dude. Cardboard live is gas. I draw a card. They make a million mana.
I guess putting it on three makes sense because it hits. Um, it hits like true name and back to basics. I'll look something up here. Turn to the game. So I'm going to hold up hard cast force and then click them at the end of the turn. Nice force of will pitch card. There's just nothing. My opponent's like, I think my opponent's pretty dead. But we'll play it out. We'll play it out slowly because my opponent is double queuing, which is frustrating. I'm going to check this out while my opponent. Doesn't out oh, there. Yeah, we just have everything covered. My opponent's one card is a Grim Monolith and something else. I'm a little afraid of, um, like Ulamog, but that's basically it. Yeah, they just scooped it up. They saw the writing on the wall. And so I'm on the draw, so I think that this gets much worse. But I don't know what else to bring in. Like I'm not wild against spell pierce anything. So I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. And I'm gonna look at something here. Yeah, now they're just going to take their time. This sucks when somebody double queues against you. Do you want some water, bud? Do you want some water, Philly boy? I'm going to get Phil water. I'll be right back. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. So we definitely want to turn one Force of Will. Like that would be the nut. Like a disenchant would be sweet. I 
What do you got? I take my dog out after this round. All right, I mean, we're a little soft to a turn one play, but I think we got to keep this hand. My opponent, if he does anything but a turn one chalice. All right, let's ponder for force of will. Force of will land would be the nut. Force of will land, baby. Um, I think I want, I'm going to draw both of these. Give me one second. My wife just came in. I'm going to draw both of these and then I'm going to shuffle with Stoneforge Mystic next turn and I will be right back. I just, I just have no concept of time. Okay, so Grim Monolith. So, I think I'm actually just going to hold this Counterspell up. Counterspell a big play and then land back to basics. Then I'm just going to jam Stoneforge Mystic. Show dog, please. I am almost done. I'm going to spell pierce this. This will likely be my last match of the day because we're not live for top eight. My wife just got home, so I want to hang out with her. Also, some real life stuff to do. The dog's playing with the wife, so can't show him. All right, Vesuva cost me thespian stage. And then we just slam back to basics. I don't know what the card underneath that is, so I'm going to hold that fetch land. And the monolith is tapped. And they scoop it up. All right. Um, that I think that is going to be it for me today. Um, I'm going to chit-chat with my wife, hang out with her. we got some other stuff to do. Let me send you... Oh, Update on Twitter how I did. Three and two right now. Would be four and one in regular Magic, which is just a little frustrating. So, if anyone knows anyone that's playing Legacy, they should let me know. Um, I will stop recording.